Hey, this is your boy Corn Dog, the real hustler. I'm down here at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History. In a few minutes, we're going to be talking with Marlon Wayans about his new movie, A Haunted House. So stick around. It should be a pretty funny interview. We're investigating paranormal activity at the Johnson Residence in suburban Los Angeles. Uh, yeah! I kicked you in your ghost balls! I got something for you! Hi, I'm Chip. He must be Malcolm. Yeah, that's pretty good. How'd you know? Ah, uh, psychic. <laughs> I have a lot of powers all over my body. How far are you gonna go to get this demon out? I'll do anything. What is this supposed to do? This just got weird. It's your boy Coin Dog, the real hustler. I'm sitting here about to talk with Marlon Wayans about his new movie, A Haunted House. What's happening? Uh, I saw the movie, man. I screened it last night with you. Yeah. Off the chain. You like it? Off the chain, man. It, it's probably some of your best work. Wow, that's that's damn good. My best work, cause <laughs> considering like like I think Don't Be a Menace is classic. Uh, White Chicks is classic. Oh, Scary Movie down. One is a, a definite classic. Like, but to say that's some of my best work, Haunted House. Is, consistently I mean, though, cause see a lot of the on the other ones, you know, it's like jokes here and there. But consistently, you know, and you on your own, cause a lot of times yeah. you had, you know, yeah. your brother. And it, even in like scary, it's like this one is me. I'm in every scene. That's the other thing too is, I get to manage more of the funny because I'm in every scene. So, it's 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 me consistently. And a lot of the times when I do movie or write movies, it's me and a bunch of other people, or me and Sean right. and a bunch of other people. So we don't get to have that. I was greedy on this. One. So so what made you come up with par you know the paranormal necessity? You know because they're not making movies like they were. Um, Hollywood, and when they were making movies, there was no roles for black people anyway. So I wanted to do a low-budget comedy. I was thinking about filming something out of my pocket, and I wanted to do something for a low-budget, you know, found footage it's comedy. So first of its kind. So I started watching Paranormal Activity, Blair Witch, and all these movies, and I came across Paranormal Activity too. And I was like, Wow, what if this happened to a black couple? Bingo! And it just from there it was just lights out. Did you have any input on the casting? Because, I mean, you guys all seem to just come together. Yeah, as the producer of the movie, you know, uh, me and my producing partner, Rick Alvarez, you know, they, we had Final Cut. This is this is our our picture. We hired everybody on it, and we put together a great cast and a great crew. And, you know, collectively, they helped tell great jokes. That w The script was funny. Everybody made it funnier. Okay. You get Cedric the Entertainer coming in as improviser, and you get Nick Swartz and Dave Koechner, um, Andy Daly, uh, Apion Crockett, Essence Act, and J.B. Smoove, uh, you get that host of characters coming in to improvise. It's just a lot of fun. Now you got an extensive resume. Out of all the movies, which one would you so, call Splash? All around, I'd probably say White Chicks. White Chicks. And White Chicks because I feel like that one, I think, was our best movie because we did a, it was so hard to do. Mm -hmm. um, it was two black men playing two white women. We filmed it for summertime in the Hamptons, but we were really in the, the dead of winter in Vancouver. Um, seven hours of makeup every day, worked 14 hours of filming. So me and Sean slept two and a half hours for 65 days and still managed to have a great time with our cast. And Every, every day on Twitter, like, when are you going to make a sequel to White Chicks? When are you going to make a sequel to White Chicks? So I'd say White Chicks and this one, A Haunted House. I interviewed Carrie Washington for uh, her movie, For Color Girls. Okay. And I always ask that question to everybody, put them on the spot. And she said she had the best experience on Little Man. Oh, yeah. Had. You know what's sad <laughs> is I didn't get to work with Carrie like that on Little Man because I shot separately. Oh. They all shot and had a good time. Mm -hmm. Then they did the movie they were together. Everybody's all, oh, okay, it's a wrap. Now it was just me and a green screen. Mm -hmm. I acted by myself. Like there was, I had, I had watched their scenes back because they was on monitors. But when I did Little Man, nobody else was around. I, I, I acted by myself. That was it, it, that one was also one of my favorites because that was a really hard movie to do, and not many people could pull that off. Yeah. And I was proud of myself. My brother was proud of me on that one. Yeah, that that was a good movie. I get you one last question. Oh, I took a poll, and this is the question that a young lady asked. She says on Facebook. She said, how does it feel being in the only black family in Hollywood 
that still has longevity in a predominantly white industry where people of color uh, rarely get the chance to star in, produce, direct, and write their own movies as well as get distributed. How does it feel? Um, I guess I haven't celebrated yet because um, I got so much more work to do, so much more, so I can't sit there and go, whoa, we did it, whoa! Once you, and then I look up and we ain't, ain't no more work. And it's like, whoa, all right, I guess we got to dig again. So, you know, there's no time, you know, for, for me to celebrate. I celebrate in retirement and go, wow, look at what I did. But for right now, my head is down and I'm working and I feel like hopefully we're trailblazing for other families that want to go do it and also the, you know, other people of color that want to do it, that they know that, you know, if you sit down, you write, you produce, you, 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 you do learn to direct, if you become a student, then you can write your way into movies and you can write your own destiny. And don't let anybody tell you no. Just keep doing it and keep digging. That's what's up. Yes, sir. Hey, you heard it here. Marlon Wayans. Go check out his movie, A Haunted House. Follow me on Twitter, at Marlon L. Wayans. Well, welcome to the Terror Dome. Come on, jam. Ah! 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 Man, that breath is kicking. I can only imagine what the kid is smell like. See it in theaters, January 11th. Be there, baby. Oh, yeah.